Holy Moses. All right. He dropped on that last shot. Did you just ask if the cattle know it's Saturday? Yeah. Or is it just another day to them? Welcome back, Do everybody. They, they don't. They don't sleep in. All they care about is food, pooping, and if you're a bull, and they care about one other thing. The doings. The doings. Today is the first day of deer hunting season. Jake already missed probably a whole twice. box of shells. Missed he's missed more deer than he's got. My brother Jacob and his wife Jenna. Robbie's also coming over, the other brother. He's grabbing some medicine from Uncle Jeff. This is going to be the deer hunting video. So far, morning of opening day, we didn't get anything. We're going to work 20 critters quick. So it's going to be a small portion of the video. Then we're going to hop into some deer hunting. So don't you worry if you're here for deer hunting. If you want, you can just skip the next few minutes. But we're going to get these 20 up, work them in the hydraulic chute, and that's going to be the plan. Keep going now. Jake's an engineer, so I think that makes him most qualified to run the chute today. No? Probably not. Okay. That guy's tall. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Let him have it. Let him have it. Ah, ah. Hey. Hey. Who are you? I'm Rob. Okay. I got hunting gloves on. Probably don't want cow poop on you. That's alright. Deer will smell you when you're hunting. Oh. You know how many gloves I've ruined since uh, for deer hunting? Probably about as many knives I've lost at concerts. <laughs> Probably about as many times Jake's miss a deer. No, you know, no, no. That's, that's, not, that's unbeatable. Jake, Jake brings up a good point. Robbie's always got a jackknife in his pocket and it never fails. We go to a concert or something where there's a football game. Yeah, and how many knives do they take and you never get them back? Oh, I've probably lost about four or five. <laughs> the most recent one was the Cowboys Eagles game in Dallas. But I got a funny story. Okay. So, we obviously, we went on, uh, deer hunting this morning. We had a big shot at a monster buck. Well, I didn't have a shot. Jacob did, and he missed two shots. And I kind of made a joke about this at his wedding <clears throat> that uh, uh, we did a roast for Jacob Sonny, and I got one, each one of the, the groomsmen. And my joke for Jacob is that uh, well, every year when we're hunting, it takes Jacob usually about 10 to 12 shots to get his buck. And it's almost like he's shooting blanks. And I said, well, hopefully that's not the case when he tries to have kids someday. <laughs> but that turned out not to be the case because he's got a kid on the way. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Proud of you, Jake. Proud of you. Got to lay into him good. Maybe that's why the older two didn't want to farm. <laughs> Can't take the heat. Dad's putting an implant in, and Robbie had a really good point. What was that, Rob? You know what the difference between an enzyme and a hormone is? No. You can't hear an enzyme. Is it on the ground? Bloody hell. Oh, here it is. Oh, it is on the ground. You know, this is kind of fun. If we always had a hydraulic chute, would you guys have came back to farm out of school? No, probably not. No? <laughs> Does that hurt, Dad? I don't have room for all of you. <laughs> It saved me a trip. Just goes to show you that this shoot's so easy to use. Even someone that's lived in town for the last few years can do it. How about that ear tag removing, eh? Yeah. It's going pretty good. This is how I roll. Need more cattles? The magic word is hip, just so you know. Hip. There you go. Jake, I think I know why you're so good at this. Because when you get, no, when you get off work at five, you go home and play video games. Yeah. It's just like a video game. Pretty much. <laughs> Do I have to take the tags out again? Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> nice. Go to solid. Jenna's baby bump is making it so she can't zip up her trousers all the way. No. I'm getting pretty close to that. <laughs> it was pretty difficult. But it's more food. That's my granddaughter right down there. Nice. Yeah, a little longer granddaughter. Uh-huh. We're going to be running around here. Grandpa, let me give a shot. Thanks for watching this video. I was thinking working some cattle would just add a little bit to this video. 
For right now, we're going to head out to the deer stand. It is about 3 o'clock, a little before 3 p.m. This is when we in this area like to go out to the deer stand. Deer are going to start moving around in an hour, and then by 5.30, it's pretty much pitch black, and we can't shoot anyway. So I got my 25 out 6 That's what we use, or that's what I use. That's my gun. Got my tag in there if we do happen to get a critter today. So where we're headed, we got two deer stands, actually. This is where we like to hunt most of our deer. I got some drone video. I know it's illegal to use a drone when you're deer hunting, so I got this video two weeks ago, so don't worry about that. There's actually snow on the ground, I'm pretty sure, in this drone video. And so on the west side, you can see there's a bigger deer stand, and to the north, there's a half mile long tree belt. To the south, there's a smaller, what we call building site. My parents are going for a walk. And then to the east, we have another mobile deer stand. Both of them have heaters in. We like to go here because there's a lot of deer movement, especially between the two tree belts. Brother Jake and his wife are headed out. They're gonna be in the deer stand to the west, which is about 15 feet in the air. I'm gonna be on the east side in our mobile deer stand. It's got tires on it, we can pull it around. So we're gonna pull out there. They saw a couple this morning, a smaller buck. I hope this turns out to be a good video. I'm gonna take the camera with me until I get a deer, and so if I get a deer at all this season, we're gonna get it on video. So we should get one, stay tuned. Let's, let's do a little hunting. I didn't explain it well enough. This is the South Dakota East River white-tailed deer season. If you're familiar with the channel, this is actually our big field, our biggest, it's like 240 acre field. And then way down there is the stationary deer stand. Right here on this side of the small tree belt is where we're gonna be headed to. Be very, very quiet, because we're hunting deer. Got a heater set up in here. It's spray foam. Cause you know, it's, hunting is supposed to be kind of an enjoyable thing, so it's nice to be warm. We got four windows out here. This is where we'll see most of the action. The other side of these trees is where the other deer stand is. Like I said, Jake's gonna be sitting out there. He'll be here in a little bit. We're just gonna be quiet, wait for a deer. See a rooster. Hopefully that's not the only thing we see today. I could use a bathroom and see a doe. Hopefully it has a boyfriend. Don't mind it. There's two doe right about there. Three doe headed that way. You can maybe see them right there. The back one's actually got a limp. Keeping up. Haven't seen a buck yet, but at least we saw something. There was two two by twos that walked down the long tree belt. One went back in and there's another one crossing. It's about 120, 140 yards. They're just not big enough. It's 542. That ended up being pretty fun. One by one, those three doe came out. And they were hanging out for a while. Try not to put her in the ditch. Two bucks that were kind of smaller, two two by twos, came down. Had some really easy shots at them, but they uh, they were pretty small. And then Jake actually saw three doe come out his side that were separate from my three doe, and another buck that was, he said, decent, something you'd shoot on the last day. So pretty happy with that, especially since the county over is actually doing like a voluntary. Uh, send back your tag thing because there's some disease out this way and populations are low together Jake and I saw six doe and three bucks so I guess we'll see what comes tomorrow wanna go deer hunting or you go outside all right it's a little before 6 a.m. we're just gonna get ready off in the deer stand my gun's still in the pickup just gotta get some warm stuff on oh there's a layer of frost on the pickup. Better get that defrosting. Pickup saying it's about 25 degrees, not too bad, good for deer hunting. This time we're gonna go to the other deer stand. Once we get in there, we'll light the heater and then we'll wait for the sun to come up. Hey, when we're going to this deer stand, about a half mile 
of beans double to drive through to get to this deer stand. The fog lights on, try not to scare anything away. And it usually works pretty good. One other thing that's important besides staying warm is that heater helps thaw the windows, which you can see still. I can't see through them very good. I'm sure we'll see some deer since we saw so many last night. Hopefully just something with a little more rack. I could use a little bit of rack in my life. The sun's starting to come out. I haven't seen a single deer. Kind of surprising. Maybe they just had a late night. We're out partying out at the local moose lodge. I don't know. Well, the sun's basically all the way up. It's super windy. Not seeing anything, kind of disappointing. We drove in from a gate down there, came around. This is the deer stand. We've got four windows, the big window looking out east. And on the other side of those trees is where the mobile deer stand is, where I was sitting last night. It's definitely kind of a man cave up here. There's mouse chewings and garbage, and it's just not very fancy up here, but it's a job done for deer hunting. I think I'm gonna head out and drive along a couple pieces of land that we have that we see deer at from time to time. Other than that, we'll sit tonight and hopefully we'll see a deer. Kinda makes me wish I would have took a shot at one of those smaller bucks last night. Something to fill the freezer. They had some nice bodies on them, just small racks. And this thing's acting up. Usually it's just red in there and it's kinda shooting out, but for some reason there's a foot tall flame. So that's kinda sketchy. One thing I always do before I leave is, so right on the other side of the trees, right over there is where the deer stand is. Well, I walk around the corner of these trees because sometimes they just like to hang out on this side, but we don't have a deer stand over here. So I stand in this corner and I heard some crunching. And I looked in and about 20 yards away was a small 4x4 four four, and it was staring me down hard. I knew if I would have picked my gun up, he would have ran away right away. So I was hoping I could just stand still enough that he'd walk out, and he ended up running back into the trees. So he was he was kind of small, but if it would have been an easy shot, I probably would have took it. Maybe we'll get him later tonight. Or maybe my talking just scared him away into the neighbors. So I'm almost home. Dad called me and said, we got a problem. I said, what's that? He said, a giant chicken hawk is sitting on the corn bunker, and Ellie's laying down 10 feet away from it. Them things got talons, and Ellie's a pussy, so that thing could probably beat the crap out of my dog, so I'm gonna, gonna scare it away with this gun. Hopefully it don't claw into my doggy. I'm coming, doggy. It's freaky. You see it? Ellie, get in the barn. Windy. It's about three o'clock again. So we're gonna head back to the deer stand. We'll be, we'll go to the same one we were at this morning. Super windy out here. It's about 40 degrees, kind of warm, a little warm for deer hunting. The good news is they won't hear me very well, but nope, they might be able to smell me. Not, not because I smell bad, it's just the wind, you know, whatever. I got a good feeling about this one. I hope to see that four by four again, unless I scared it out. I made this mistake once where I got in the deer stand and I just sat down waiting for some deer. And then I saw one coming from that slough to the corner of the trees and I tried opening this window, but it was frozen shut. And so I had to open the door and lean out the door. By that time it had already gone back in the trees. So right away every time I make sure everything is thawed because I don't want to make that mistake again. see anything there's a weed over there every time I look at it I think it's a deer also if you didn't notice there's remnants of a bird nest right there you might think well how'd they get in well the summer this whole window fell out and so birds were flying in built a nest I think we're gonna blow away
Holy Moses. All right. He dropped on that last shot. All right, I think, I think we got us a buck. Well, I know we got us a buck, but that was ways out there. Last shot in my, last shot in my, uh, in my clip. I can't think good, but we're gonna put some more in here, just in case. Sorry, I didn't get the the best video, but so he started in these trees. He went over to that slough, and I was thinking. Maybe I'd be able to come up on him, but he was he started trotting pretty fast before I shot and by the fourth shot he was over there. I'd say that's about 250 yards and he was moving pretty good. So uh, some people, especially you know the activists, they say, you know, what do you what do you feel when you shoot a critter? And the answer simply recoil. Propane tanks off. I'm really certain that that's the four by four that I saw this morning and so that's why I was pretty confident even though the lighting is not the best and he was out quite a ways I was pretty sure it was that 4x4 four four, so I felt pretty confident that I would like like shooting that one hey could you bring the meat wagon or I could just pull him up in my white clean Ford do you want me to pull him in my white clean Ford I asked him yesterday if I paid him 50 bucks if he'd gut it for me and he said yeah so that's a pretty good deal all right, let's go see what we got. It's windy up here. If we get this deer cleaned up fast, we can get it done before dark. We got about 40 minutes. There he is. Looks like the 4x4. Four four. He's, he's got a nice body on him. Woo! We got one. While we're waiting on Dad with the meat wagon, we'll get the tag ready. You're supposed to put the tag on before you move it. I also, one of my buddies told me a story that someone shot a deer and then the game warden happened to be there and he helped the kid load the deer and then he gave him a ticket because he didn't put the tag on the deer yet. Even though the game warden helped him load it, what a nice guy. So you just slid in the date, you sign it, and then you put it on a leg or some people put it on the horn. That ain't bad. You can see the deer stand way out there. I'm pretty proud of that shot, guys. That's gotta be at least two and a half football fields, maybe 300 on a run, a jog. Activists are saying, yeah, I bet you're proud of yourself. I am, thanks. Comes the meat wagon, big body deer. Yeah, are you proud of me, Dad? Gosh, Cole, you're so awesome. Yeah. But he told me once, happiness is a big gut pile. All right, we're gonna head home, and then we're gonna take a hose, to wash out the inside, and just kind of clean it up. Then in a couple of weeks, my brothers and I will cut it up, process it a little bit, cut it into steaks, and. Uh, maybe some pieces for jerky and standing by the deer and looking back at the deer stand that's probably about the longest shot I've ever even taken usually in that deer stand you just got really close opportunities but this one I was really feeling like that was all I was gonna get today you know part of me when it was jogging and it was at a long distance I was thinking well it's not the best deer but it'd be a sweet shot if I could get it dad even said it's got a nice body on it it's gonna make a lot of meat it sucks that I didn't get good video of when I was actually popping off some rounds at it. It's just, I knew it was moving fast and I wanted to get shooting and so I set the camera up not very well and I I doubt you could really see anything. You heard some rounds fire. My clip holds four shots and it took that fourth one to finally put her down. Went pretty great, only had to go out on three hunts. Yeah, once again, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. It's a good thing I'm done for the year, Dad, because now I can give all my spare bullets to Jake, because yeah. he's going to need them.